super excited for today's episode. I have pro boxer Adrian Granados coming in. He's got a big uh, welterweight clash with Adrian Broner for a 10-round battle on Showtime. He's a long, long friend of mine, and we've actually fought a couple times in the amateurs. He's going to give us exclusive insight into what to expect on Saturday night. He's, we're also going to go talk about history, his relationship with the belated Ed Brown, and uh, without further ado, here it is, Adrian Granados. You're listening to the Will Power Courts Podcast. Subscribe now and never miss a jab. The Will Power Courts Podcast. Go visit www.powerboxingfitness.com and unleash the fighter in you. All right, I got a special guest here today with me. I got Adrian Granados with me on the line. What's up, homie? What's up, bro? How you doing, Will? And so we're literally like almost close, dude. I'm so super pumped and psyched for you. How, <laughs> how does it feel to be at this kind of level um, the day before? Man, dude, it's so awesome. Like, I, uh, I've just been soaking in the moment. Um, you know, all the attention, you know, all the all the cameras on me, you know, the vibe too, like the aura, like when I walk into the room, like I just, everybody's head's turning and everybody's kind of fixed on me and it's just, it's exciting, man. It's a dream come true being out here. Yeah, now you got all eyes on you tomorrow night. Um, and, and like, how has it been w- with this roller coaster and the boxing, you know, the career that the hustle, the grind, the blood, sweat and tears, how has that been for you for the last decade of, of being a pro? Oh yeah, man. It's shit. That's exactly what it's been. A freaking roller coaster, a nut job roller coaster. I've, I've uh, been in the ups, the downs, the almost there's, the not yet and the robberies. And it's just. It's been uh, very stressful, very um, tumultuous, but I mean, finally, you know, with the um, grace of God and hard work, you know, we, we were at this moment now and just excited, excited to finally be here. And uh, obviously um, tomorrow night I'll be, I'll be living my dream. Yeah, man. You know what? You know what? You know what's pissing me off? Like, I, I keep seeing like when, when people compare you to like Marcos Medina and nothing against him, but like you ain't nothing like that motherfucker. I mean... He's a great fighter and all. 